Uh, look people, there's another obelisk here. The symbol of the Pharaonic domination next to Paris here. I'm going to look at the, uh, the castle of uh, Lafayette. The Grange, La Grange. Oh yeah. It's got the ball on it for the world domination. It's got everything on it. Hello people, I'm next to Paris and you see this towers here. This is the castle of Lafayette who brought the revolution to America. It's called La Grange Blenau. A La Grange, a thing like this, this is a grange. A, uh, the stables. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if the stables here if these are Templars, because the revolution is the transition from the old world order to the new world order. Pharaoh me. Them. <laughs> Now it says, here's the name of the castle, Grange Blenau. This is a bus stop here, next to Rosé Ambry. And there is a Freemason lodge and there, a, um, a fan of my videos from Louisiana, she told me there is a, uh, the Grange, which is a sort of a very important Freemason lodge in Louisiana. And I, of course, I understood immediately the Grange, because in French, Le Grange or La Grange, it's the stables. Uh, this, that thing there. Okay, I probably have to film it tomorrow because it's getting dark. I think I'm going to look for a place to sleep. Uh. So there was just a bloke who kicked me out there, so I couldn't, you know, but I'll, I'll be back tomorrow. Eh? You know, during the days probably, I don't know. So, you know, it's, it's a 14th century castle. And the, uh, so you see that the American Revolution, it was not a revolution by the people, come on! It's just a transition from an old pharaonic, aristocratic temp assist, ruling system to the new horizontal, horizontal ruling system. The vertic from the vertical to the horizontal, eh? That's all. People had nothing to do with that. Eh? So let's see how I'm going to do that. Well, anyway, castle is a castle, you know. So, so here's where the American Revolution was like made, and by the Templars. It's all Templar stuff, anyway. Right. I'll take a sh quick shot tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, uh, it's a pity they already got me. Uh, fuck, you, know. Uh, you know, the castle where, you know, the uh, Jeffrey Epstein, I wouldn't be mistaken, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Jeffrey Epstein was in this castle as well, you know. Children disappearing, that's why they kick. I had a very bad feeling in there, you know. And, uh,. Not very far, actually on the other side of Paris. And I don't think I'm going there, it's so complicated, I can't hitchhike here, you know. Uh, I have to go through Paris, which I don't want to do. Uh, there is uh, Le Chateau Lafitte, where she was born. Ghislaine Maxwell, she was born in a bloody castle, you know. It's all the aristocracy, and this is what they did. You know, the use prime noctis, you know, raping women and children, you know, this is what they did. Raping all our women on the first night of their weddings, you know. So, yeah, well, at least I got this shot here. I don't want to have any problems, you know, I got problems enough. So, you know, the, uh, this is not very far from Disneyland, where this young, where this kid disappeared, Estelle Mouzin. She was in the newspaper a couple of months ago. Well, she's, she's dead, yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised, you know. They, they all take these kids to castles, you know. 
uh, like the Epstein girlfriend in the Chateau Lafitte, here, Le Chateau Lagrange. Uh, this is what Pharaoh's always been doing, eh? and they're going on, it's, it's going on, eh? Uh, it's right next to it. Uh, so I'm on the east side of Paris. I don't like it here already. You can smell Paris here, you know. You know, I would be going there, you know, to that other castle where Ghislaine Maxwell, where she was born. But it's such a hassle in Paris. And now with the corona, you know, I have to carry a mask and uh, with my backpack. I really don't want to go there. I... <sighs> so, yesterday I got kicked out of here, you know. They're hiding something. I mean, Ghislaine Maxwell, she was born in the castle. Here's the castle of Lafayette. Eh? And they all know each other, all these people with castles. And, and there is the French link, you know, with the Epstein affair. And uh, Epstein was in a castle and, you know, at the, the castle of Epstein, Dutroux, Fournier, all these girlies disappeared. And this is what they always done, eh, in the Middle Ages. Eh? And then we got all the fairy tales about it, all these girls that dream of, about the prince and all that. And, uh, well, it's a nightmare, eh? And they're hiding something. I, it, it could be very, very well that Ghislaine Maxwell, she's hiding in this castle here. So I'm filming it from far away now because I'm going in there again and they're going to kick me out. So I can't, I can't say any, everything when I'm in there. Eh? So the Lolita Express, you know, going to islands, Templar Islands, like St. James, going to castles, eh? And only like five girls, they, you know, they sued uh, Epstein. But what happened to the thousands of other girls, hey? Eh? They made the alliance with them, of course. Just like in the Middle Ages, through, through the Jus Prime Noctis. You know, and, only f and, and those five women who sued them, they would have been burned at the stakes, like in the Middle Ages. And all the women, they make an alliance. You know, like Freemasons and Epstein, you know, he, of course he didn't die. You know, if you're a Freemason, that's why he got so much protected. You can get, you, you ask help one time, you can ask for help three times. One time give you help, second time two, and the th third time you must kill yourself. Well, that doesn't mean you have to kill yourself. It means you have to make it look like a suicide and then you disappear, just like Epstein. Hey. This is what happened. So you really think like a guy like Lafayette in his castle here, eh? He does something for the American people? Come on, it's just like Trump, you know, it's the same descendants, they all are, eh? Uh, this is Per Isis, this is Paris. Oh, they are there. Okay, Pharaoh, you, you bloody cows. That's humanity. These are masters. Don't believe them. Lafayette does nothing, you know, to help you like the American Revolution. They just rape your kids. I tell you, man, I've got a feeling like Ghislaine Maxwell, she is, she is staying, she's hiding there. You know, they're hiding something. Eh? They, they kicked me out yesterday. Usually it doesn't happen like that. Eh? They don't want people in there, you know. And they all go to parties together in their castles. Eh? They all know each other. Okay, people, this is as far as it gets. There was a guy yesterday here. He's probably living here. So I'm not going any further, eh? 14th century castle, eh? Lafayette. So I better go before they kick me out. Uh, the rest of the dog, oh, fuck off. Let's go. They look very aggressive. Now look at the village next to the Lafayette castle. With the crown and all the nine dots in it. And red roses for the old world order. Yeah, two all sort of... Well, there's not much to see here. So here's the next town, Rosé, if you, you know, next to the uh, Lafayette castle. Look here, it's called Place, Place Lafayette. See? Aye. With two lines. 
Now yeah, with a triangle on it, with the Templars V on it, actually. Because it's all Templar stuff. The Revolution, the American Revolution, it, was, it all came from the Knights Templars, eh? That's why there's a line with the Knights Templars, with the Templars V on it. The aristocracy, their new horizontal rule. And you have Place Lafayette, he brought it to the Americas. Now they rape your children in the castles. You know, with the Gislaine, uh, Maxwell and... Eh? It's, it's not, not, they, they, they did nothing for the people, eh? Oh, uh, look, and I walk a little bit l further on. Look, what, what did I see here? The Statue of Liberty, eh? Mrs. Isis. As above, so below. Here, where there's Lafayette and the lions. Yeah. He did nothing for the American people. Just forget it. Forget it. So there's the town. Rosé en Brie. It's all about crowns and aristocracy and Isis and pharaohs. What the fuck? So there's Statue of Liberty, eh? As above, so below, Mrs. Isis. Yeah, they did nothing for the people, plus Lafayette. It's only an internal problem of the aristocracy with their alliance. And there is that town here, next to the Lafayette castle. Obelisks and Isis, and they did nothing for the American people. Forget about it. Forget about Lafayette. So around the castle of Lafayette, it's full of these things here, the obelisks, full of it. The world domination on it, it's a black flag, you know, like a pirate flag. Maybe it's the flag of Lafayette, who knows? Pharaoh, right? Pharaoh, castles, it's full of it. It's the second one, it's not the same one as the other one. I remember, the other one had all the barbed wire on it, or whatever it was. It's full of it. Pharaoh. Per Isis. I don't like Paris. But there are really some nice people here. Yeah. So. Pharaoh. Why well, you know the drill? Me. No, I mean, what is an obelisk doing in Europe, eh? The victors. They rule the world, the globe. It will be interesting to count them. I'm going to do it probably 33, eh? From bottom to top. Bloody pharaohs. It's a big one. Bloody Lafayette, eh? Probably an ancestor of Mr. Trump as well, eh? Anyway, it's the same family, eh? Me hitchhiking next to Pharaoh. So I'm next to Père Isis, like the castle of Lafayette. I, I suppose Lafayette, he put it here, eh? And Père Isis.